24 points and and for us it's executing and getting first downs i mean obviously you can't stay on the field if you're not getting first downs uh you know last week we did a, a better job not turning the ball over but uh, we got to execute, get first downs, and move the ball down the field. And, and when we're in the red zone, we got to get six points, not field goals. How, how has this offense changed with Brock? Uh, in ter it seems like you guys are doing less rollouts and movements and things of that nature. Um, I mean, I think you got to think about you know the game plan going in against the team that we're playing as well. You know, uh, obviously Brock and Ryan are two different types of players, but also. Um, you know, preparing for whatever the defense, uh, you know, whatever holes we see in the defense. So, you know, I think he's done a good job. Um, obviously, you know, there's plays that we wish we could have had back, but, um, you know, we, we won a game last week. It was ugly, but, you know, we're on to the next one. Did you ever get to play at Lambeau during your time with the Saints? No. Nope. Lambeau is one of my the, the three stadiums I haven't played in. Other two? Other two are San Francisco and Oakland. And, uh, yeah, no, it's exciting. You know, my pops play for the Packers. Um, you know, for five years. So, um, you know, it's it's going to be, um, you know, pretty cool for me to go there. And I, I know he'll be there this weekend with my little brothers and stuff. So I'm excited and it'll be a big game for us. The photographers are right on top of the field. I hope they have um, some good awareness. <laughs> it'll be okay. Did you play with Kenny in New Orleans? I did. Uh, thoughts and memories of playing with him? Um, you know, I, I was a rookie, you know, uh, when I came in playing with him and just, just his ability to go up and, and get the ball in the air and, and make plays and put points, you know, on the board. We had a we had a sick offense when I was there, so I was just able to learn from those guys. Um, and uh, you know, it's fun to watch him play. Your pop share any stories from Lambo? Um, I mean, we, we really don't talk football as much when he was in the league. Um, but if you go on YouTube, there is a there is a video of him uh, kind of cheap some cheap shotting somebody after the play. Bears Packers rivalry. Um, so, you know, I, we don't really talk too much about NFL stuff, um, but I'm sure he has some great memories. He didn't cheap shot a wide receiver, did he? No, I think it was like a fullback or a running back or something. You guys can check it out. Will he be wearing a Dolphins hat in Lambo? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe my little brothers will have some Dolphins stuff on and they'll have his Packers stuff on, but, uh, you know, there's no hard feelings there. Who's he rooting for? He's not rooting for the Dolphins? I mean, I, you know, it's uh, you never know. It sounds like you do. <laughs> I mean, you never know. I think it, you know. I definitely think he's rooting for the Dolphins, but you know, he, he played there, and uh, I'm sure they're doing something, um, you know, for their guys. So it might, maybe he'll have a, a split jersey, half Dolphins, half Packers. <laughs> have you paid attention to the cheerleader who took a knee? A little bit. Yeah, I saw a story. Um, trying to you know get more information and reach out to her and and uh, you know thank her for for her courage and and just kind of communicate and see if you know I can do anything I can to help her. Can you talk to them? Talk to the defensive players about what Aaron Rodgers does. What is a opposing quarterback at offense? What kind of pressure can that put on an opposing offense? For us, you know, you know that sometimes uh, you get put in a situation where you want to keep keep that quarterback off the field. You know, we, we play, um, you know, a quarterback similar to that. You know, and, and Tom Brady, and you know, you're trying your best as an offense to make sure you're putting points on the board every time and making sure uh, you're keeping that ball as long as possible. Your thoughts on uh, how Tuesday went? Tuesday. With the midterm elections. Oh yeah, I mean, I just saw today on, on my phone that there's a you know a possibility for some recount stuff, you know. So uh, there's still some hope, but um, you know, I, you know, th wish things have gone a different way. But I guess um, you know, like I said, there's still some hope. Well, nationally, obviously, you you had some issues with the president. You encouraged by directing the country's taken. Yes. Yeah, I was encouraged. Um, you know, I'd hope. You know, like I said, I guess we'll see, you know, what comes from uh, these recounts if, if they happen. But, yeah, no, I'm definitely encouraged by uh, the amount of people that responded to me and, um, you know, what I was doing, trying to, you know, give out tickets to, to get people out to go out and vote. And, uh, you know, just the amount, you know, from my friends and family and people that I've reached out to, people that are getting involved and using their voice.